comedy and I had to have a good job. My daddy got a good job. Everybody, you just get a good job. So if, if your you daddy get didn't a, have a good job, then you get a bad job. But See, you do something. Uh, <laughs> you, you do something. You don't have. There's never a reason to just blow people's heads off. You gotta be able to take it, man. I was like the only black kid at white school. I was skinny, I so was I was, a, I was getting my ass kicked and called nigga on top of me. <laughs> And you turned out all right. And I'm all right. Yeah, I was, if, if I was on a comedian, I'd be working on U, at UPS or some shit. Yeah, or UPN. Yeah, or UPN. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't mean that in a, <laughs> a derogatory way. In a derogatory <laughs> way, you know. Now, I saw you interview a Q-Tip the other day on MTV, and you got all mad at him for having, like, booty shots Did y'all see that? In his video. Yes. I've gotten a lot of comments about that. Somebody said to me in a club, and you're welcome, thank you. Somebody said to me in a club, why were you so hard on Q-Tip? And I said, you know, we have to start being harder on each other. I saw you in a video, too, though. I you saw, saw you me in a thug girl, and I talked about that on the show. You had, and the girls had their asses out. Did you I get mad? I wasn't one of the girls. Yeah, but your ass is and out all the can time. can I remind you that was too <laughs> Oh, my yeah. ass ain't out right now. Oh, no. you, come on now. Chris, there's a difference <laughs> in having on tight pants and knowing how to carry yourself than having a thong going up your butt and shaking your ass in the camera. Women's bodies are the most, one of the most beautiful things yeah, on the planet. Yeah, but don't get mad at the guy. What about the girls? Shit. You know, if I was casting a video tomorrow for mm -hmm. Hoey Magoey, <laughs> there'd be a line around the block. It's unfortunate that women are valued just for their bodies. Oh, right no. now. But if you show your body. We have so much more to offer y'all than that. But and you if you let us give you more than you that, show, you would, oh, y'all be no. so happy. No, no, no. Oh, no. no. We you got, you got to approach to, really me do. not showing me that at all. Because if you show it to me... Us and you only pick out those of us who are showing our bodies. Hey, off. wait a minute. We, we pick out women. And if y'all didn't show your body, we'd fucking make a move anyway. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Whatever you show us, exactly. we will go so for it. So approach those women who aren't. If women didn't wear makeup, we just fuck women without no, makeup. I don't believe that. <laughs> 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 we don't give a fuck. Yeah. We just want to <laughs> fuck. That's all. Now, Case in point. We're you worked at MTV. We think on many levels. You, we, you worked at MTV. You worked at BET. Yeah. What's the difference? Ooh. Um, I hear money. You know what, though? For me, the money was, was like number three on my list of why I'm leaving. Okay. Um, I loved Teen Summit. It was my favorite show of I all time so far. And I think it did so much for the consciousness of young people. And yeah. I miss it for those reasons. Yeah. I don't miss necessarily working for BET as a network. I miss I love, that you show. know what? I dog BET every week, but I, I watch you. it every night. <laughs> I always end up there. You just ironic. end up there like, hey, who left the gate well, open? Well, see, that's like, the okay. thing. You, you want to watch, watch a reflection of yourself, right? Yeah. You watch because it's black people, right? I watch because so the black only people. black network in the world should be more reflective of the reality of black life. Because I don't know many people living like that. Okay. And I'm, I'm sure you yeah, as well. Right. There are too many of us who are young, black, and successful to still be represented. And I won't go that far. I, I don't want to disrespect Mr. Johnson. They gave me my first start, and I, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's that. how you got that coat. Exactly. <laughs> now, I got this coat from Roberto <laughs> Cavalli, actually. Um, and... At the same time, I think we're a long time away from having to shuck and jive to get attention. Okay. We are creating the society right now. We really are. Young okay. urban people are making this world what it is. You can yes. look at fashion, at music, at anything. Everybody's biting us. Right. So let's make it what we wanted on our own network. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't technically own it. Okay, well, thank you for coming. Thank you. You are you. incredible. Well, I think you are the first time you've ever done an interview. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you.